Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel once again. And previously, we had done a video on how to check your mini split, make sure that your refrigerant is okay. And as we showed you on that previous video, the PSI was around 50 or 60, and ideally, you want it to be around 120. So, this is your setup, so you can do it yourself and save yourself some money from having to hire a, an HVAC contractor. Get these gauges, they're very inexpensive, and, and then you connect your blue hose with an adapter that we also mentioned down at the access port. Do not connect to these, these are just to, you'll see there's, like we mentioned in the previous video, this is just to release uh, refrigerant into the system or close it when you bring the refrigerant back into the system but anyway you got your blue hose connected to that and then your yellow hose connected to a tank of refrigerant now these can come in different colors but what you want to make sure is that it reads 410 a and I think that's on here right there you want to make sure you before you fill it in that you open your first you want to connect your your pipes of course your your hoses and you want to make sure that they're tight you want to make sure that all your valves are closed including the one down there and then what you're going to do is you're going to open to release the refrigerant into the line but you want to make sure this is closed right here so you're going to open that at the bottom and what I'll do is I'll provide links where you can get it so you can get it uh, yourself I know local areas will not sell it to you unless you're an HVAC contractor but I'll provide the links where you can get it so you want to open that down there and then slowly you're going to open this here and you're going to see the the needle spike up okay you see that and you're going to do that in slow increments until you get this to about 120 so we're going to open it slowly and close it again and as you can see the needle has risen from where it was before you're going to do it again close it close it and you can open it again close it I'm going to kind of repeat the process little by little because you don't want to go over. So we pretty much got it right where we wanted it to be right around between 117 and 120 PSI that is your sweet spot so if you look down here at your PSI being the red that's where we want it to be between 117 and 120 so another way we'll show you how to test and make sure that you got it right is of course on the inside because the proof is in the pudding so we'll go ahead and do that now so one thing you want to do is you want to get a laser thermometer and put it across the vent and anywhere in the low 20s I mean high 20s low 30s is your sweet spot that means you're you're getting good uh, readings as far as your cooling so between the high 20s we're getting even low 20s here so this thing is cooling really well but that's one sure way to tell that your system is cooling very well after you've added the refrigerant and right now we got it at 73 degrees the outside temperature today hot summer day in August is 101 so again if you need to get any one of these things that we showed on the video we will post a link below the in the description so you know where to get the refrigerant and the gauges including the adapter that we used thank you for watching have a great day